We look at the planet's surface and see the boundaries set by nature, vast oceans, soaring mountains, and deep, impassable valleys. For millennia, these obstacles dictated where we could go and how long it would take to get there. But humanity, driven by ingenuity and an unwavering will, refuses to be contained. This is the story of a challenge presented by the sea, the tide, and the relentless pressure of climate. Following a catastrophic flood that claimed in hundreds of lives, a capital city required more than just walls. To solve it, engineers built a kinetic defense, a series of movable gates, each one the size of a double-decker bus, designed to rise on command. This is the Thames Barrier, a protective shield that guards the heart of London, ready to stand sentinel against the surge of the North Sea. The catastrophic 1953 North Sea flood was the tragic catalyst. It swept down the east coast of England, killing over 300 people and inundating large parts of London. This disaster made it clear, the low-lying city needed robust protection against the dangerous combination of high tides and severe North Sea storm surges. The chosen location, near Woolwich, was the most efficient point to protect the two million people and tens of billions of pounds worth of property downstream. The design, by hydraulic engineer Charles Draper, was revolutionary. It required ten separate movable steel gates spanning 520 meters across the Thames. When not in use, the gates rest horizontally on the riverbed, allowing ships to pass freely. But when danger approaches, these massive, curved gates swing up 90 degrees to form a solid, towering steel wall. The four largest gates, known as the Rising Sector Gates, are the true mechanical marbles. Each one is 61 meters, 200 feet, long and weighs 3,700 tons. The entire barrier is supported by nine concrete piers, each housing the complex hydraulic machinery required to rotate the gates. Crucially, the Thames Barrier is not passive, it is a dynamic structure, operated by a dedicated team. The decision to close it is based on a meticulous prediction of tide levels and weather conditions across the North Sea. When the storm surge arrives, the barrier acts as a powerful lever, holding back the massive weight of water and saving the capital from inundation. Since it became operational in 1982, the Thames Barrier has closed over 200 times. Initially, closures were rare, primarily for storm surges. Today, however, closures are increasing, driven by the dual threat of storm surges and, critically, rising sea levels due to climate change. The barrier was designed with a specific lifespan and threat level in mind. While its engineering remains robust, its operational frequency highlights the growing threat to low-lying coastal cities around the world. It stands as both a triumph of engineering past and a powerful warning for the future. It's an undeniable testament that the greatest obstacle to progress is not the height of the valley, but the depth of our own imagination. For our next episode, let's explore the Great Pyramid of Giza.